So, I haven't done one of these vlogs in a while, and that's all, as I said before in the previous ones, there's really not too much I can say about Metastasis, as it follows the original series pretty closely, faithfully, and okay, so since the last time, I think we're now circa season three, ish for those of you um jane or in this version her name's hoana or was hoana dies she ODs, if you've seen the series yeah and yeah they do the same deal um and then her dad causes pretty much that big plane accident which that was interesting to see um Skylar fuck Ted. That was, okay, that was an interesting scene in this version because there might be, there is, I'm sure there is, like, I don't really, I know a few Spanish swears, yes, that's coming from someone who was, Spanish is technically my first language, um, I learned that first, and then English, you know, I was born in America. But, like, my parents don't usually swear a lot around me. And so I know a few swears. There's probably more. There's, like, a ton of swears. Anyway. So when Skylar, or in this case, Cielo, fucks Ted, that was just a really awkward scene. It was out of... It's like, I knew it was coming, but it loses its tension. And that might just be due, as I said, one of my complaints earlier was the score in this. Just because it's just... I think they take it from the original too, but at least the original... The thing, the problem with a lot of telenovelas is they oversaturate with score. And it comes out more funny than serious. It's not like... It's not their, it's not like they're getting the composer of Game of Thrones. God, Game of Thrones is a telenovela. I, no. I hope that never happens. Anyway, <laughs> so she, it roughly translates to when, when she, um, tells Walter, Walter, um, she's like, oh, it was more like, oh, I slept with Ted. She was literally, she makes that face. She's like, oh, me acosté con Walter. Walks off. Walter stands there like, the fuck? Okay, um, um, Jesse went to rehab, uh, okay, so, <laughs> I t when I told my friends about the person they picked to play Gus, so he's like, black, S S South American black, Chile, I think it was, pretty sure it was, in this version, he's white. I mean, he's not, like, American white, like, you know, oh, no hablo, a spaniel kind of deal. But he's a lighter-skinned Hispanic, and he even has, like, green hazel eyes. And I'm like, wait, is that Gus? So I, mean, I thought that was hilarious. I tell my friends, oh, yeah, actually, Gus is white in this. And they're like, wait, what? And I have to explain, well, he's still Hispanic, but he's just lighter. It's a lighter skin. And then Mike, so they call him Gustavo in this. They say his whole name. Um, Los Pollos Hermanos in this. Oh my God. So you know, like in the original, it's just like a little chain thing. They imply it's a chain. And all that. And it's just like your standard McDonald's. Okay. The, Los Pollos Hermanos. In this version. They're like. I don't want to say five star restaurants. It's exaggerating a bit. But they're very nice looking. They're like. Actually you could even argue like. There's like the. Older looking McDonald's, and then there's McDonald's where they make it more classy and swanky. Like, yeah, you could sit down and 
have chicken nuggets. And yeah, this is the case here. They're like a very nice. I don't know why they just are. And I'm like, and of course, again, I get hungry <laughs> every time they mention those boys around us. So we met Mike. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they haven't said his name. I'm pretty sure they're going to call him Miguel. That's the most accurate translation to um Mike it's pretty much Miguel um <laughs> God. the guy that he picked for Mike and he's a good I can he's he gives off Hispanic Mike he looks like he could be related to me he looks like someone from my mother's side <laughs> he's like I'm like maybe he's actually Plus, well, Hispanics come in a lot of... He's a little darker skinned. He's like what you expect a typical Hispanic person to look like. Like, the stereotype, I guess. But, yeah. It's really... So, yeah, um... Well, um, not Walter. Hank, or Henry, in this version, also gets... He has to do physical... He gets shot. He's not... Anyway, so, and they have the lab now. Um, they did the whole scene where Jesse plays around in the new lab they got. Oh my god, when they destroyed the bus. <laughs> god. That was, wow. Yeah. Like, much like in the original. And, hold on, double check something. Oh, sorry, it's a text. Anyways, um, so yeah, he's, yeah, the bus is gone. They have their new lab. They show the Jesse playing with the lab thing. And, oh, the pizza, they actually reenacted the pizza scene. But from all the accounts, you hear about the pizza on the roof scene. That was totally improvised. That was just in one take, go. Like, they didn't even, it's, it's iconic. It's an iconic scene. It's one of the several iconic scenes. So they did it, but obviously it wasn't... They were... Uh, I think it's a downside because they were trying it... They're trying to be like the original, which... Okay, whatever. But, like, yeah, it wasn't the same when they did the pizza thing. The pizza on the roof thing. Because you didn't see it. Because I think with the original, it was a wide shot of it and you saw it go up yeah this was more like they inner cut like jump cut it like they showed okay so like this is the roof this is this is the roof so i'm the roof this is like walter if it makes any sense and he throws the pizza on the roof you don't really see the pizza so it's like from the roof's point of view and then he walks off and like the camera show focuses on the pizza on the roof yeah so the twins were creepy in this version, too. Not gonna lie. But, yeah. And, yeah, there's not, not really much I can say. Those were the big things. But, yeah. Um, yeah, so Walt's not a teacher anymore by now. <sighs> Jesse was sad. Jesse went to rehab. Jose, I mean. Um... Mike's in the picture, Gus is in the picture, so, yeah, more. There wasn't a new episode yesterday. That was because Unimas was showing Pulp Fiction, dubbed in Spanish. And Pulp Fiction's a long movie. I don't know how they can get away with some of this. I'm sure they censor it. I didn't catch it. But it's, like, basic TV. It's, like, not even basic cable. It's, like, pretty much an extra network because it's Univision, so I didn't show it yesterday, which I was, I'm like, because I saw, oh, Pulp Fiction this Friday, is the Viernes, and I'm like, oh, so are they going to just cut it down? I'm like, okay, they're, obviously they're going to cut it down, so does this mean they're not showing Mary Ben? They're like, yep, yeah, uh, no new um, metastases until Monday, so I'll probably say more by the end of next week. We'll see how this goes, but the bus is gone, people are dying. And I think this is close to the part where, you know, I was talking to a friend, 
And there's a part in Breaking Bad where it's fun. It has its fun moments, despite it being pretty heavy-handed and very good. But my friend's like, yeah, I think the last, like, somewhat fun episode was the fly around, because, yeah, it was more fun. And then after that, it's the body count starts piling up. I'll just leave it at that. And more shit goes to hell. The, the, sh the shit really hits the fan. I mean, the shit hits the fan from, like, the first minute of this whole series, to be honest. It starts off with a guy running around, driving in a bus or RV in his underwear with a gas mask. I mean, you know that shit's gonna go down in this show and that's how you open your show. But yeah, that's about it. So hopefully, ow, I'll get another vlog out by the end of the week, this coming week. I've been busy. There's been a lot of cleaning going around. I'll just leave it at that. And I hope you all have a good day today. And yes, there will be a new episode that is not Sailor Moon related, surprisingly. I'm like, oh, you could probably talk more. I could go on and on. But no, space it out. Unless if you guys want to want me want to hear my opinion of Sailor Moon so far, or the, rather than new Crystal, I just saw the second episode today twice. It was good. Other. Yeah, they're getting true to the manga. Um, yeah. Oh, fly flew in. Crap. Um, yeah, there's, that's about it. I also have, like, another personal project I'm working on. That's a big update. Somewhat big update. And, yeah, not much I can say, but we're season three, so we're about halfway done with this series. That's really sad. I don't, I mean, it's like, no, it means like, the like I said, the body count's gonna go up very soon. <laughs> my, my dad does, I'm my poor dad. He just keeps going at the end of every episode. They show pre like, next time. And he's like, ooh. Um, but yeah, it, it pretty much is. I'm like, oh, dad, you have no idea what, what's coming next. <laughs> it's only gonna get worse from here. But yeah, that's about it about this week's, two weeks actually. I'm sorry. I've been bad with these. I was originally going to do these daily, but then I'm like, well, so far it's just going to be redundant. But that's what I'm talking about so far. Same opinion as always. I mean, duh, it's not going to be like the original. And... Yeah, uh, it doesn't stray much, and people are like, well, they could have just dubbed Breaking Bad in Spanish. Why did they have to make a cheap remake? Well, it's showbiz for you. And it's, like I said, we've done it too, so don't act all high and mighty that you're all like, oh my god, they're taking our show. And it's like, America's done that all the time. God, you, you guys took Ugly Betty from Colombia, and well, actually every country has by now. And even, like, other countries have taken, like, American TV shows, too. I remember Desperate Housewives being one of them. Yeah. 